In Division 2, uh, Blackburn postponed uh, Trammy without a game, but Port Vale with one of the biggest matches of their season. Always a, a real derby flavour when uh, Wolves are the visitors. Always a buzz when Steve Ball plays. His first goal for seven weeks, but Robbie van der Laan came up with an equaliser three minutes from time. Here's Lindsay Sutton. Vale undefeated in the last four games and looking for another home victory. But their offside trap failing to check Wolves' prime asset, Steve Bull. And with keeper Mark Grew totally exposed, the England forward slotted home with ease. That's why it's worth two million and much fancied by Manchester City. Vale's sole first half effort came from a long-winded affair. A set-piece free kick. The old deception game that Dean Glover not on target this time. In truth, it was nearly all Wolves, with Bull always in the thick of it. Fearless in attack, but Mark Grew well aware of the danger. Again, Grew was under pressure. A poor Burt shot taking a deflection off Mountfield, stretching the keeper one more time. In the second half, Vale in more trouble. Martin Foyle being judged to have brought down Madden. Hotly disputed, but the referee quite adamant. Up stepped Paul Cook to take the spot kick, but Grew was the hero, keeping Vale in with a chance. And again, Vale trying to use the well-worked set piece to effect. Nico Yalink beating the wall and keeper Stowell, but not the woodwork. Then, with three minutes to go, Vale's reward. Robin van der Laan eventually sliding home his fifth of the season. Perhaps not the classiest of goals, but grabbing a vital ninth draw of the season for Vale. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, but Paul Vale don't really uh, figure at the top of Division 2. Uh, Blackburn, uh, who were washed out, stayed top. Uh, Cambridge play tomorrow against Southend. The weather really catching up with the leaders in Division 2.